selling is a very important skill the selling skill is a very important skill to have in fact there's literally no area of life where one does not need to know how to sell it only depends on the mindset you adopt in thinking about it even the person looking for a job is basically trying to sell you're trying to sell yourself so first of all you start by marketing yourself creating and getting attention uh, drawn to you by people that you want to buy you as an employee all right even the person looking for a boyfriend or a girlfriend is trying to sell because what he's trying to do is to make the person feel that you choose him or her over the other person they may be considering so ultimately it's like a product somebody's marketing a product to you because they're hoping you choose that product over the other product you may be considering so selling is a very important skill it's just how you choose to apply your selling skill that matters it depends on what objective you want to achieve what outcome you want to arrive at in terms of selling now in the first part of this um, video series i did an overview and I, then i said i ended by saying i would share two stories of how um i have had to deal with the lack of um, trust right the title of the, the series of course is can you be trusted real life sales, sales conversations uh, business sales conversations with people just like you and i said i was going to share two stories so um here, here it goes i'm going to tell you the first one but i can maybe before that let me just do a quick intro um you know that if there's no trust in a relationship if you're interacting with somebody maybe for the first time a total stranger you know it's more difficult to get the person to buy than you. the person was someone that already knew you and didn't have any issues thinking about whether or not for instance it would be safe to give you money so uh, when trust is lacking the smooth functioning of social economic activities will be disrupted because then people will have to hold themselves psychologically and bulk and say hmm, how can i be sure if i go if i pay money for this service i'm going to get it how can i be sure if i renew this service i'm going to get the quality of service i expect since they disappointed me the first time so there's no trust transactions do not proceed as smoothly as they should all right so the things we take for granted daily you know uh, the money you see in your bank for instance is you, you put money in your bank because you trust that your banker will keep your money for you so by the time you start hearing news that the bankers are making withdrawals from your account or from people's accounts you begin to get worried or oh, is it safe for me to leave my money in the bank maybe i should keep my money under my bed you know that kind of thing so um let's take an example like i said i have two stories i'm going to share the first story with you now what if a buyer sends payment you as a buyer for instance send payment to someone like me you don't know me from Adam and it does not reach you reach the, 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 the money does not get to me who you are trying to buy from and you know you send the money what if that happens all right uh, things go wrong all the time and this is something that's happened to me on several occasions wherein somebody was trying to pay for one of my products typically a software product or an information product like my feed formulation handbook or the Russian formulation software or the uh, poultry farm manager software so many things i sell digitally and i've had instances when people in which people were trying to make payment for such especially from a location that was geographically very very distant from mine and so they knew they had no access to me they took the leap of faith send the money this individual for instance i think was sending money from me battle all right so he then begins to call me of course quite rightly to to say hey i sent the money to you have you seen the alert i had not and yet he was sure it had gone because he had received the debit alert you do know those of you if you are in the banking in the society in nigeria you do know that this happens sometimes with some of the banks so this was about thirteen thousand naira. i think he was paying for my um, uh, feed formulation bundle if i recall correctly so yes it was from ibadan and so i i could not take offense when he began to call me and you know he began to get agitated uh you picture it picture yourself in such a situation you do not know me from adam you saw a video on youtube i put up and then there's a sales page i, I sent you to from the youtube video and then from there you got my phone number called me up i convinced you that it was okay that i had the product that it was what you wanted and you decided to send money unfortunately you send the money i don't see it you have been debited and you begin to wonder why i'm taking so much and i'm saying look this is nigeria just as you feel you need to be able to uh, you need to be, I mean, get your stuff from me, and you're not so willing to trust me 100% that I'm telling you the truth. It's the same way I'm wondering what if you are one of those naughty guys? I'm not saying you are, but what if you are and you haven't actually sent the money? And the thing is, you're trying to put me under pressure. I then send the product only, only to discover that the debit alert you're telling me you got was not real, and then I have lost because I've given you the product and I cannot take it back, you know. So I said, just like you have your concerns, I also have my concerns. I cannot go by go by uh, what you are telling me alone i've got to be able to find a way to also ensure take do my due diligence to make sure i've also gotten the money uh 
you know safely in my account before i give you the product so this was a period when we were not yet using all these um, ussd codes doing bank transfers and all that so it was typically he would have to do uh he had to actually went to the bank paid money so it wasn't that he did it from his phone or anything all right but i was fortunate um you see i i had the mindset to deal with that and to be able to just um pacify the individual involved so what i basically did was i i assured him that i hadn't seen it but that as soon as i saw it that i would definitely send him the product so eventually he had to calm down there was nothing he could really do but he began to express his fears and i said listen gentlemen listen the amount of money you are sending to me is not enough for me to you are basically questioning my integrity and i understand it's because you don't know me but i'm telling you i still i'm taking your calls all right i haven't stopped taking up your calls now if i was a bad person and i didn't want to pay and i knew the money had come in i would stop taking your calls so at least you give me that benefit of the doubt and let's make this work so he decided to calm down and then eventually the money did drop and i sent him the product he got it he was happy that was how we became quote unquote friends you know but the experience was a very um clear indication of the fact that there's a serious lack of trust in the socio-economic environment in which i had to work so i had to look at ways to make it even easier for people to buy from me which is why i do a lot of web marketing content creation in which i tell stories i do videos of myself take pictures tell stories of sales i've made do record phone conversations i have with people that are my clients sometimes i do videos with some of my clients there was a young man who purchased from me from um, abijo from the, ex- the kind of a remote area on the outskirts of lagos uh, the lucky end and he had to eventually come down to me because the, the product he bought was not working the way he expected and he couldn't understand why and i tried to give him instructions on the phone but he was working on a network based environment and there were some things that the it department had set up on their infrastructure that i was affecting his ability to do what i asked him to do so for once probably the only time ever i had to agree for someone to meet with me in person luckily i was in nigeria and we met up at the family house at Omolifis too and I was able to fix it for him. Then we did I did a video with him and I was teasing him and all that. You know, there's a video of it on my YouTube channel. I think I'll put a link in the description. The point I'm making anyway is that the lack of trust makes it so difficult to break through as a person trying to make sales. So you've got to believe in yourself. All right. And be willing to go the extra mile to show the buyer that your intentions are honorable and to convince him or her to give you the necessary benefit of the doubt. To make the sale work all right and you cannot afford to take offense if you do you are the one that will be hurt because they have every reason to be like that given the environment they're in so that's um one story i think because of the background i have to give it's been a bit long i don't want this thing to be more than 10 minutes um so what i would say is that just follow the series this is part two so go to the next just follow the series you'll see in every video uh, in the description box for each video i'm going to put the link to the next episode so you can follow that and um then you'll be able to see the next one I publish, all right? And there's also the URL, which is for the playlist. So just follow, just go into my playlist on the channel and check out the URL for this particular series. Can you be trusted? Um, you'll be able to follow every single episode I publish. So I don't want to make each video too long. That's why I'm trying to keep it under 10 minutes, all right? If you have any questions, if you need any ideas with regard to um, doing your marketing inexpensively using web marketing techniques and strategies I described, reach out to me using the contact details on the screen. I wish you well.